This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Uh, there was a chick who spotted a employment ad on Craigslist mm. um, in the US for a bar and restaurant. Now, this bar and restaurant, their, their ad was a bit of a rant. You can tell they've probably been put through the ringer yeah. by some very unreliable staff. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, uh, in the ad, you'll hear from Abby, who was um, put up on TikTok. You'll hear in the ad um, them telling um, the myriad of excuses that people have given uh, not to rock up to work one day to miss a shift. Okay. And um, here's some of them. Please do not apply if you have no alarm clock, oversleep, have a cell phone battery that dies constantly, preventing you from contacting us, have to give friends ride to work later than we start work, call in sick with an excuse because you party too hard the night before your shift, experience flat tires every week, and suddenly become deathly ill on Coachella and Splash House weekends. Do not apply if you think you'll need nights off because your grandma poisoned you with her ham again, <laughs> or your band has a gig and you need weekends off because your favorite roller derby has made it to the finals. It's ski season. You accidentally got on a plane to Vegas. You haven't surfed in a while. And you have a headache after going to too many garage sales. You woke up in a good mood and didn't want to ruin it. You've been at the casino all night and still have money to play with. You ordered takeout that is late and you have to be home to accept slash pay for it. You've locked your ho- yourself in the house by mistake and there are no windows to crawl out of. Or if you want to work a few weeks before you go on your European, in quotes, vacation. <laughs> What would you accept? Because there's some of those you go, oh, okay. So the one I'd that. accept out of that is um, uh, having a headache from going to too many garage sales. Also, I would accept <laughs> being poisoned by your grandma's ham again. I also <laughs> woke up in a really good mood and don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Somebody, I'd, I'd accept uh, jump somebody, on a plane to Vegas. Accidentally. 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 Sure, accidentally. they fell onto the plane. <laughs> I hate it happens. when that happens. Isn't that hilarious? Everybody has worked with or maybe had an employee yes. that has come up with the most rubbish excuse of why they have to miss a shift. But I get that they're being a little bit left leftist. You can't just say, oh... I don't feel well. No, you that's have, boring. Yes. You've got to come You've up got with to something. Come up it's with got to be something in, innovative, but some of them are extra special. If you just say, I'm really hungover, is no, that... No, that's not acceptable yeah, because that's so. because yeah. of your own behaviour. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if someone keeps like um, saying, oh, say five times someone in their family's died within a row, yeah. like, can, or clearly you, can, the flat you, can you question one. that? You know what I mean? Like, say if they go, oh, my nana died, and then two weeks later, oh, my granddad died, two weeks later, oh, my cousin's died, and then another cousin's died. It's like... Is it grandma's yeah. hand? Should we look at the family's <laughs> diet? Yes. Yes. Yep. Are you allowed to, as an employee, to ask to, for a death situation doctor that? or come to the funeral? <laughs> I think you should ask to come to the funeral. Yeah, I'd really like to support okay. you at the funeral. So years ago, um, this lovely girl that works um, used to work here. Um, um, who was that? I mean, she's a lovely girl, so she's that's a lovely true. Girl. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, someone had thrown a, um, a brick through her window, um, mm. but it was accidentally. It wasn't meant for her. It wasn't meant for her, so they knew it wasn't meant for her, but she took two days off after that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to laugh too hard because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but that was funny. That was funny. That was so funny. What about um, what? Uh, another person who worked for us um, told us the story of how they couldn't come in and then we found out on um, various uh, social media platforms that there was other reasons to that. We're backing away. Right? <laughs> oh, sure. Where were you? Hey, no, at least not after the other John. one. Finish the story. I no. think... I think <laughs> The lesson in that is that if you are going to give an excuse to not come to work, your social media needs to back that up. Do not then have social no, media that is at odds with what you've claimed. I'm going to no, need Sean to finish this story. You're not with me. Oh, no, no, You're no. backing away. We're here. We're Natalie next to you. was bloody in the next studio. She didn't want to have anything to do with that. Sean, 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 go on, finish it. <laughs> We're talking about the excuses people uh, use for not working. Innovative. Yep. Like we had a girl here who just disappeared after a lunch break, didn't yes. come back to work. No. And the reason was apparently she went home because she was bitten by ants. <laughs> <laughs> And Natalie, then, that was so great no, to, to hear be, that again. To be fair, she didn't leave work. She was carried off to a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> but I she mean, had so many excuses I've, in the end. I've been bitten by ants, but I still, like, <laughs> function and, and, you know, can do my job. Um, she, like, well, she started here. She was, like, one day. <laughs> so the place would be flo- her house would be flooded, couldn't come. Then yep. the next day she'd come in with a neck brace. Two days later with moon boots. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, it was like how, 
How? How? The best part about it is when she decided to leave to uh, for, yes. a, for a new Pursue job. another job. And I think everyone was just relieved. The insurance bill went down. Our HBF premium. Oh, no, <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hi, how are you? Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Okay, we want to hear the excuse for not turning up to work that you've heard. Okay, so she rang in and she was devastated. Her pet rat had died. <laughs> Her pet, pet rat. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, we do form attachments. No, no, I know, but like a rat. A rat. Okay. So but then can, yes, yep, yes. when she came back, she applied for bereavement leave. <laughs> what, so she could go to the funeral? <laughs> one one of you, so. The Jenny, rat, so how many, funeral. how many days off did she have once the pet died? Was it just the one day of the rat no, and then two, came back? Two days. Two days. Two days, two days, and then yeah. came back yeah. and wanted extra leave. Mm. Yeah, she wanted bereavement well, she leave. She had bereavement because so we're at the funeral right now, right now Sean. We're here uh, <laughs> we're for, gathered here today. for Splinter the Rat in <laughs> front of you all, his loved ones, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, do not ring your bell for no, that. I, That's I think not that was worthy. way too early. Do I have to unring her? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grant her bereavement leave, Jenny? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. How long yeah. do you get for bereavement leave? Yeah, yeah. How, can we you, use this? <laughs> you can get two days. Okay, okay so wait, plus yeah. two days. So okay. can I just like talk about this? So, so cat, yes. Dog, yes. Right. Budgie, budgie. I don't know. No, I don't Snake? think so. Yeah. No. Then no to rat. Because a rat goes in a snake. Oh yeah, that, in the hierarchy of things. Yeah. Rabbit, dead rabbit. You're a chance. Uh, unless it's a house rabbit. Guinea pig. No. No. Chook? No. No. Because you just chuck it in the oven. <laughs> yeah, can, that's a win. If when it dies, you can eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can ring your bell now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Um, Dave's in Mindari. Morning, Dave. Good morning, crew. How are you Good, Dave. Good, Dave. Party. Okay, what's the excuse? Uh, okay, the excuse was pretty standard. It was just, I'm sick, I'm not coming into work. Okay. Yeah. And... For a radio, we'll call this uh, this lady Mary. Yep. And Mary um, Mary ended up going to the Calberry fishing place, and that was the, uh, the the reason she needed the time off. Yes. Anyway, as as things happened, she's won the lady section of the fishing, <laughs> and they've taken taken photos of her with this enormous jewfish. Yes. And then, and then put in the fishing section of the West Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary's just pulled an absolute corker. Oh, and a Jewy as well, Dave. If you're taking a sticky, you just can't win the thing, you know? Yeah. Anyway, she's gone back to work and the uh, headmaster of the school yeah. has uh, called her into the office. And as she's come in, she's fired straight on the desk. There's the open West Australian with the picture on it. <laughs> so she's had a bit of explaining to do. So what is it? Do, but it's did, all good because yeah. everyone loves Mary. And yeah. She, uh, she stayed there for a long time. The only, you know, the, only, you know yeah, the, the only way to get past that is yeah. to bring in, bring in heaps yeah. of fillets. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Half a kilo of Jewfish fillets will go a long way. Amazing. Thanks, Dave. Tomo, hello. Good morning. How are you? Hey, hey Tomo. Tomo. Okay, talk to us. What's the excuse? Oh, well, I had a bit of a, a hangover, so uh, the first thing that came into my head was I rang the boss and said, I oh, can't make it in today. My fish tank's leaking. So <laughs> my fish I mean, tank's it's leaking. leaking. It's an emergency. <laughs> Yeah, so it made it sound like I had to stand there for the whole day and hold the tank to stop it flooding the house. So. <laughs> you weren't just standing there with your finger on a hole. Did you? Did yeah. you feel once it came out of your mouth, Tomo? Did you feel like, is this enough? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you'd believe it, but yeah, got paid for the day and it was a happy day. Got paid for the day, no. Okay, so I'm an employee, mm. and my employee, I'm an employer, and my employer says my fish tank is leaking. Will that fly with me? Like, How just... big is the fish tank? Well, to be honest, I don't actually have a fish tank. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I know. But if I was to ask the a imaginary... secondary question, yes. how big would the fish tank have been Would if you were asked? Probably a metre squared. A metre nah. squared? Nah. No. You need to have one of those restaurant-sized yeah, things. Right. So if if the leak is left, you will yeah. like, literally be flooding your thing up. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then it's a household emergency. Yeah. And it... you got the day off for that. Yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right, there paid. you go. There you go, anyone. The if you want a leaky fish tank excuse. If you want to get out of work today, mm. there you go. A lot of leaky fish yeah, tanks today. Yeah, a lot of leaky <laughs> This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. It is time. 
to pit Channel 7 newsreader for the last 74 years, Rick Arden, <laughs> against one of our listeners in a Seinfeld off, and that listener is Narissa from Parkwood. Good morning, Narissa. Morning, guys. Morning, Narissa. Narissa, we need to know that you're up for the challenge. You know everything about Seinfeld. I watch it every single night on Netflix. Wow. wow. Oh, I love yeah. it, Narissa. Yeah, it's fresh, too. Yeah, great show. And how many times have you gone through the series? I wouldn't even know. Probably about okay. 10. Mm. All right. Okay. This sounds well, like it's going to be a match team. It that's does. right. We've it got does. a bunch of questions. Here's what's going to happen. We'll ask the question. If you think you know the answer, you need to buzz in with your name. Okay. All right. If you get it right, you get the point. Um, Rick, you good with that? Buzz on with your name. We'll test your buzzers. Your Rick? Bzz. Oh, sorry. No, I'm <laughs> No, it's a different buzzer. Nerissa, a piece of paper. We want to get Nerissa's number afterwards if we can. Nerissa, stay on the now line you, because now we you're need making you it creepy. <laughs> so we'll test your buzzer again, Rick, because it didn't work the first time. Um, Rick. Rick. There we go. Oh, no, uh, I like. Bzz. Nerissa. <laughs> Nerissa. Working Nerissa, well. okay. Like special bees. All right, are you ready? Mm. Where does Elaine work and what does she do? Rick. Yes, Rick. Rick. Pendant Publishing or she uh, works with uh, uh, Jay Peterman and she also worked with Mr Pip. And she also, uh, most of the time, she's a publisher. She reads through manuscripts. I didn't ask for a resume. <laughs> that is all got accurate. That is so cool. Rick has shot out to a one nil lead. Go, Nerissa. Here you go. You go. Okay. Question number two. What is Jerry's apartment number? Come on, Narissa. Nar- oh, Narissa? Yes, Narissa. 5A? Yes. Yes, oh, Narissa. Hey, Narissa. Order. Okay. okay. It's one all. Okay. Third question. This is a bloody rip. I love it. Where did George Costanza famously, famously pull out a golf ball from? Rick. Narissa. Rick. Rick. A whale's oh. blowhole. Okay, <laughs> what did he say he was for an extra point? A marine, marine biologist. biologist. And <laughs> the golf ball's a titleist. <laughs> <laughs> what number? <laughs> one. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Right, one. All right. Right. I think we're going to ask all these questions because mm-hmm. I never want mm-hmm. this to stop. What's the name of the coffee shop where Jerry and his friends... Oh, Narissa. Oh, Narissa. 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 Monks. Very yes. Very good. Monks Very good. It's two all. All right. Might all have right. to bypass yeah, the Yeah, I'm not asking the one. next one. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Which main cast member does not appear in the pilot? Rick. Narissa. Or oh, Rick. Elaine. Is correct. No. Amazing. Marissa, yeah, you knew that either. too, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Okay, it's uh, Rick okay. leads 3 2. All right, next question. What does George want to name his future son? Rick. Narissa. It's Rick. Seven. <laughs> That's, That's correct. Okay. Narissa, you're doing well. You you're right on the yeah. hammer. All right. Yeah. Here we go. What book's late return earns Jerry a stern talking to Narissa. 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 Oh. Narissa. Tropic of Cancer. It's correct. <laughs> Very good. This is so good. They know, they know their stuff. Okay. Um, which guest star said they're real and they're Rick. spec... Yes, Rick. Narissa. Oh. Terry Hatcher. Is yes. Otherwise known as Sidra. Oh, oh, was that the the name in the show? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sean. Okay. This is an easy one. This is an easy one, yep. Yep. Who died from licking envelopes? Rick. <laughs> Rick. Susan Ross. She died on May 16th, 1960, 1996. Oh, my God. That's right. <laughs> and George is trying to get out of the marriage. Can I tell you something, right? We were thinking some of these might be a little bit too yeah. hard and then off. All right. According to a conversation between Jerry and Elaine, what's the magic number of dates when a first to... Fa- yes. Yes. Very good. Um, number of dates... Three? No. No. The number of dates on a face-to-face breakup is required. Rick? Oh, five. Uh, five, I'd say. Seven. No, seven. 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 Oh, there we go. We found one thing both of you didn't know. That's amazing. Oh, six. <laughs> favourite. What's the name for Jerry's favourite shirt? Rick. Nerissa. Rick. Rick. Golden Boy. Yes. Wait there. Extra points. He got a new favourite shirt. What was that called? Nerissa. 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 Go, Marissa. Baby Blue is right. Baby, Baby Blue. blue. <laughs> we'll give you a point for that, Nerissa. Well done. <laughs> All right. Rick seven four. All right. Next question. How, ma- how, how much money does Kramer make upon originally Rick. selling his... Yes, Rick. Rick. $500. Incorrect. Incorrect. Wow. Narissa, would you like to come stories. in for the point, oh, Narissa? you're right. 1000 No. Incorrect. 750 750 right. Rick. Mm. Yeah. 
All right. Of Jerry's many shallow complaints about the women he dates, what petty thing bothers him about his girlfriend, Gillian? Rick? Yes, yes Rick. Rick. She's got man hair. <laughs> 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 she does have mad hands. Oh, Amy's telling us to wind it up. No, but, but I just want to ask oh. this one. What Can are the names all day? of George's fictitious horses? Rick. Yes, Rick. Snoopy oh. and Prickly Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Okay, so um, this is pretty full on, right? So this chick in Melbourne, she has matched with a man on a dating app who seemed lovely and he ticked all the boxes so they met in person. Oh, mm-hmm. good. Yeah. The day went well. They spent hours, by the way, hours talking. Um, and then at the end of the date, he um, uh, he asked if she would like to go back to his house for coffee. You know, Coffee? It's not. Bit late for coffee, isn't it? Coffee. Was that a dirty (laughs) chai latte? It's it's, it's a a filthy chai. Okay, I get it. A filthy, dirty chai. Mm. Um, She was tempted, but she decided to say no. And he said that he was 100% fine with that. So then she went home and she thought, you know what, that was one of the best dates I've ever been on my life. Wow. Hours talking. Like hours, yeah, okay. Wow, yeah. So they've really great. hit it off. They've really hit it off. So she's gone to bed, she's all happy, and, you know, and this is, you know, you mm. the feeling you get. It's yeah. been a while, but that feeling you the get flutters. when you think, you this, is, this, is, this could be a thing. Mm. And then the next day she received a text message, which read this. Hey, I think you're lovely and I could definitely see you in my future. Oh, good start. That's nice. However, to get there, I feel that I need to address something. Oh, okay. While you have a beautiful face, you are physically way bigger than any girl that I would let myself date. (laughs) God. I would even go as far as saying obese. Oh. What? (laughs) The only reason you were getting a second chance is because your personality is good enough to make me see past this at first. Oh, that's nice. But my. I don't think he is seeing past it. (laughs) But my dear. I expect immediate action for you to redeem yourself. Wow. <laughs> you will not be seen with me in public again until this is done. Oh. My suggestion is a personal trainer five to six times weekly and a strict diet. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's also, so you need to abandon your old fashioned views on sexuality. The fact you wouldn't let me enjoy you physically last night was disappointing. Mm. And I'd expect more from a woman who is single in her late twenties. I sincerely hope you take these suggestions at heart, to heart. If not for my sake, then for the sake of your own well-being. This could be the start of the rest of our lives together. I don't think so. I don't think it is. You know what I mean? I don't don't think it is the start of their life together. Um, First of all, so he's filthy at her because she wouldn't sleep with him but and and enjoy her physically. Although he basically said, your body repulses me. Yes, no. That's what he did say, that. Yes, he did. And and I I think he was fine enjoying her privately, but he would not take her out for a public show. Oh, oh. Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, so that's what he's saying. So he's being fair. No, he's not. I think think? we need to put ourselves in his situation more so the opposite. (laughs) And that there's a very obvious reason why he's single. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, at the end, it's hopeful. This could be the start of the rest of our lives together. If you just take my advice. That's horrible. My great advice of a personal trainer. What is he doing? Do you know how much it costs to get a personal trainer six days a week? Oh, yeah, it'd be absolutely... I mean, she's saving on food because she's not allowed to eat anymore. (laughs) When you write a bit of a lengthy text, you know, because you're in a roll and and sometimes, you know, it goes autocorrect, you always read back a a lengthy text. So he's he's written this out and then he's read back and went, no, pretty good. And might have made some corrections. (laughs) No, no, I am going to write obese. Yep. Yep. I'm going to write obese. No, I've thought about it fairly. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, there's a reason you don't get yeah. laid much, mate. Well, that yeah. was good. Um, <laughs> the person that's um, dated the most in this room is our friend Harry. Harry. Hello, Harry. Harry. No, don't go Hi, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Harry. I have um, a little bit. Have yeah. you received a, uh, mess- a text message after a date or have you sent one? Or was one? that from you? No. <laughs> uh, Natalie, please, please. Have you been to Melbourne lately? Uh, no, I'm going soon. Um, I've sent one. I've sent one what after a, just, after a date, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, this date I went on just a few years back, mm. wonderful, mm. really nice girl. I love her. And um, the conversation took a bit of a turn into cons- some conspiracy theories. Ah. Right. Yeah, she spent a bit of time on the dark web. So, and, it, uh, and it made for great chats. What was, but, the, what was the stuff? What was, it, what was uh, the poison? The big one, lizard people. Lizard, uh, lizard okay. people. Well, Harry, the, Harry watch V, Nathan. They're everywhere. Did they are everywhere. moon landing? Ha- yeah, I actually brought the moon landing up as a bit of a joke at the end. <laughs> but she was serious. Sure enough, well, the moon's not real. <laughs> oh, the moon's not even the moon's real. The moon's not real. No. Does she think it's a megastructure? Mm, I, I, I guess so. 
I didn't get into That's that. That's the movie Something Moonfall. That, that the lizard people just put it there? Is that For sure. 9-11, inside job. I'm actually a little bit on board with that one, though. <laughs> 9-11, yeah. inside job. Inside okay. job, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. pretty exhausting having a conversation with a conspiracy theorist because mm. um, once they're finished with one and then you're, you're, you're like feigning interest, then they go, oh, wait, they're, they're, they're liking this, and then they dive into the bucket of crazy. Yeah. Um, Can so, I... Yes. Yeah, sorry, Harry. Can I ask you? So the 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 note that you sent her, the, the message text. you sent her, what was it to wind her up? Just to, no, it was kind of after that, that night. Hey, yeah. lovely to meet you. Had a great time. Interesting um, conversations. You know, not really on board with your conspiracy theories, though. So did yeah. she Maybe. respond? Yeah, fair enough. She said. Oh. I've, I've actually seen her since, and we've had open conversations about it. You know, dif- different yeah. views. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, it's fine. Yeah. Your values yeah. yeah. didn't align. Yeah, we That's move fine. on. Yeah. 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 So, you know what? I'm guessing she's heard it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. I think so. I, I think love how right. she just keeps throwing it out there. One day she's going to meet the guys going, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. just send her a picture Jackpot. of you as a lizard person and she's like, That's it, I'm out. <laughs> it's real. It's real. <laughs> Adam's in Singleton. Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. How are you? Hey, good, Adam. Adam. Did you send the post date text or did you receive it? Um, I received it, and um, and to be fair, I'd received similar ones before, and I guess I got to the point where, <laughs> where I'd had enough of it. It's a lazy one. We had a beautiful day. I went mad. I even booked seats at the petition bar, if you know what I yes. mean. Yes, yes. Oh, we, yeah. do. I, we know what Super. you mean. Yeah, I wore my, best, wore my best jacket, everything. And, oh, my uh, God, I, 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 I know. Stop it. The button's done up. <laughs> And uh, I, I thought the day went up. really well. Yes. I really went really well. Was really getting on. Uh, and by the time I got home, uh, I drove home, and uh, I had received a text, and I was a bit excited about to read it. Yes. And it says, "Oh, it was a beautiful day, but I felt that uh, I feel that we live, live a bit too far apart." Oh, and I, oh. I've had that quite a few times, and I thought, okay. "Bloody hell!" So, <laughs> yes. in in my <laughs> in my enormous, I wrote back, "Yes, I agree." Maybe one day in the future, somebody will invent a horseless carriage that will carry me at speed across <laughs> black fields. <laughs> I mean, it's 25 kilometres away. I mean. You're not in another country, freeway. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I just thought I'd throw some arch sarcasm that <laughs> way. How <laughs> many times, Adam, have you got you're too far away? How many times do you reckon? Um, oh, well, out of all the 160 dates I've had, I'd say about. Um, oh, about a third of them. Right. Yeah, wow, okay. So, I mean, and, uh, yep. you live well, in Singleton. Are you, yeah, it sounds like you're destined to apt. live in Singleton forever, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never to escape. <laughs> why, why, why yeah. do all the single women of my age group all live north of the river? I know, what not what is that? What's your age group, Adam? Uh, between 40 and 50. Between 40 and 50. Mm. You are very funny. Yeah, you like, are. You are. <laughs> like, you are. So I, I think there is a lot of women right now that will be going, I yeah. like the sound of this. Do you mind moving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, in the na- I, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the Navy, guys. I, I move all the time. Oh, so of I'm course. Happy. And he's a sailor, ladies. <laughs> this is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. We are lucky enough to be joined right now by Husband of the Year, Harrison. Uh, Hi, Harrison. Really? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I don't know if I'd be getting that title, but yes, uh, yeah, good either. morning. What do you How mean you? you don't know? I mean, every time we watch the show, they're saying you're a narcissist, you're gaslighting people. You're, surely that's part of the title. Ah, look, uh, it's so easy to make a gaslighter. It's so easy. It's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Hey, Harrison, do you think maybe you'll be able to get a sponsorship deal with Clean Heat or something afterwards? Mm. Afterwards, because of the amount of times yeah. that gaslight's been used in your name? Uh, it gets used every year. Yeah. It gets used every year. Yeah. Every year someone gets accused of it. It's, like I said, it's the oldest trick in the book. It's nothing new. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's just something that I've got to sort of deal with now and, and talk about and, and explain my side of things, I suppose, because there's a lot of stuff that happens on the show that people aren't aware of. Okay, of can you explain to us why you're on the show? Now, most of the other people we've spoken to, and over the journey we've been able to do that for a long time, and you just go, right, you're yep. in it for Instagram fame, or you want to be on TV, and a lot of people are coming off like a knob, and to be honest, that's been you for most of this season so far. Can you defend that and explain why you got on the show in the first place? Oh, I can't defend it, mate. I'm a bit of a knob. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I would say, look, I would say, look, uh, I went on the show because I was looking to get into a relationship. I wanted to, I wanted to test myself. And, um, you know, I was pretty, I was pretty open about the fact that, look, at least if that didn't work out, you know, being, uh, being famous also has its advantages. So, 
I'm just going to you know come out and say that that's probably the two main motivations for most people going on the show. I would say is that they know that it, you know they're going to they're either going to meet the person of their dreams or they're um, you know going to get that blue tick. Can, yeah, can right. I just say, yeah, Harrison? Can I just say, okay. Harrison? You are, I think, the first person out of the all the series of Married at First Sight that we have covered that has actually admitted that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Now, Harrison, can mm-hmm. I, that's forbidden admission. <laughs> yeah, can I just go back to what you alluded to before? And we get that it's edited. We get that we don't see everything that goes on, uh, but we, you are being judged by what we see. And you obviously are watching it. So when you're watching what we see, so you're watching your behaviour, do you understand why people are calling you a gaslighter? Do you... Do you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I watch it and I can see it perfectly clearly why people would say that. Yeah. They're, they're, so they're, do you they're, think look, that you the, got the, the gaslighting way, the way, edit, Or do you oh, think your behaviour fits that profile? 100%. No, no. I've never gaslit Bronte. And you can... Bronte admits it herself. She says, I, I, he's never manipulated me. He's never gaslit me. Yeah, but you gaslit her to believe so, that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah, nature yeah. of it. I'm just that good. I'm just that good at manipulating and gaslighting. I can get people well, lots to of people are. say things. Yeah. yeah. But, but, I mean, nah, it, it nah. Is, but, but sometimes, you know what I mean? It, I mean, there might be well, a really why great... Why don't you guys give me an example where you feel like I've gaslit Bronte and we can talk about it? Well, I mean, I'm not really going to get into examples. I'm going to talk about what's happened with Bronte as well because I feel like... You, Okay, this is my way to explain it. So you know when you put something in the fridge and you leave it uncovered and then the other things in the fridge start taking on that smell? Mm. <laughs> That's what I feel like's happened. That's what I feel like's happened yeah. with, with you and Bronte. I feel like Bronte's now yeah. picked up your traits and she doesn't even know she's doing because Bronte's now a person or that I feel I like is doing Bronte's it. Straight. Oh, oh, I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. I think it might be a stretch. I think, I think you think well, look, look at it this way. Look at it this way. If if they only show my behaviour yes, and yes. specifically not other things, mm-hmm. do you really not other think that there's more? Like, have you left any room for the possibility that there is things going on that you haven't seen? That that's would have exactly what a gaslighter would say. No, no, well, that's true. We do know that it's completely well, no, edited. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not manipulating you to question reality. I'm just saying there's things you haven't seen. <laughs> I don't trust anything you're saying. You He's getting me. <laughs> He's getting me. I'm writing leave. Uh, well, look, if, uh, I think I think if there's nothing I can say that you guys aren't going to attack with calling it gaslighting, then I, I don't think there's any point even having the discussion. Oh no, we're not attacking you. It's actually pretty funny. No, I, I know. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. Like it's not there's to the no point where move. anything that comes out of my mouth, people are going to go, "Oh, it's a gaslighting. It's manipulating." But you know what I mean? It's like, oh, there's not even any point talking about it. Then. It's the power of the edit of the show, though, mm-hmm. Harrison. To be honest, it's what people are fed, and you know, mm-hmm. and and. And we do. We only so, see one side of what's going on. But why do you think they did that for you? Do you know what I mean? Like, because some people get the good guy oh, edit. Did you think answered. you were going to get okay. the, the good guy edit? Uh, <laughs> you always hope. Um, <laughs> look, again, again, it comes back to the fact that I, I genuinely thought there is so much going on here between me and Bronzy. I thought towards this part of the show, I thought there is absolutely no way they could keep up this villainous narrative for me. I was like... There's so much that's come out. All of the girl, all of the women have turned on Bronte. You can see it on the show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you ask yourself, what are you not seeing on the show to make all of the women turn against Bronte? Regardless of the fact that they're saying what they're saying about our relationship. I mean, for women to turn on women, there has to be something really wrong with that woman's behavior. Because women, the women on the show were much, much, much tighter than the guys. I so think sometimes, just leave, Harrison... Just leave room for the possibility that the evidence is there, yeah. you're just not seeing yeah. all of it. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. So uh, the mm. TV is on here in the studio mm-hmm. and I glance up at it, usually during Sean's sport, but I just had a look then and mm. uh, a Chico roll flashed onto the mm. screen. How and good. I said you to asked a the room... When's the last time anyone had a, chick, a Chico roll? Can I tell you my answer, which we didn't get to? Mm. Uh, primary school. What? I have not had a Chico roll no. since primary school. Okay. Okay. I went through wow. a phase um, of Chico rolls and it would have probably been, oh, God, 15 years ago or something like that. I found out you could buy them in the shops cold and so I'd... Um, oh, a home Chico roll. So I'd, I'd cook oh, them in the oven. Oh, do you? Yes, I know. And, I, and so I'd, I'd cook it at home and then I'd um, then I'd salt it and then it comes with the bags and then I'd put it in the bag <laughs> and then I'd put it on a plate and then I'd eat it. <laughs> if you've got the bag, the you plate's put it redundant. In the bag. Oh, no, but it's just like, like yeah, put, by putting your own chico roll in the bag, they eat it to take the chico roll out of the bag. It's that like, pretty sad. Why are you putting it in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> but then again, why do you make it better if you're going to sleep in it? You know but what I mean? Wait, what was Sean's answer? Sean, my, ass, my answer was last week. What do you mean? Can Friday, I just say something? Can what, I say something, right? What, and this what, is before you go down this track. 
I use the term with you, secret eater, so much. He walks around in the temple, flashing his body around, eating quinoa in front of everybody with boiled chickens or whatever. And And then in secret, he's ramming Chico rolls in his mouth. (laughs) Is it a hand gesture that can't be shown? No, that is accurate. (laughs) All right, go. No, no, no. no. Uh, Fish and chips last Friday. So Bristol Ave, Nat, there's a fish and chip shop where the bottle shop is. Yeah, yeah. So I I always, whenever fish and chips was put up, and the last time would have been... Uh, in December sometime, uh, down south, I always have to roll. have a Chico Standard roll. Standard with your Can I say something? Have one. All right, this is controversial Never to me. So you'll have fish, chips. chips and a Chico roll. A little bit of fish maybe, but mainly my go-to, Sean has to have a Chico roll. So wait, are you he saying that you would order fish and chips but you wouldn't eat the fish? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Nah, liar. You're trying to act skinny. No, not this trying to skinny. This is skinny talk. Skinny, skinny talk. talk. Line skinny I, talk. I, I think I might have had two, two Chico rolls last Friday. Two... Two Chico rolls. Yeah, yeah. A Sean on the spit with two Chico rolls. <laughs> exactly. Sean McManus. Jeez, I was tender the next day. <laughs> <laughs> they get, they're they're rougher the than a spring so roll, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> if you're drawing comparisons. <laughs> I just put the sauce on the paper. You know, the paper you open up. Sauce. The paper, sauce Wait, on the paper sorry, and just give me Chico roll in. And a Chico roll should be. Megan knows if she's ever ordering fish and chips, she doesn't have to worry. She shouldn't have to even contemplate anything else other than ordering me a Chico roll or I'll go off me nuts. Sorry, can I just say, can I just go back to the sauce? I've never put sauce on a Chico roll. What sauce do you put on? Just tomato plain tomato? Sauce. Not in a million years. No. A Chico yes, roll. You do. A Chico roll is just copious amounts of salt. The end. A Chico roll has to come with sauce. Never in a you million sauce. years. With sauce on if the it, paper. No. If I was going to do anything, I'd probably do soy sauce, but, but probably so, salt. No, that's a bloody yeah. spring roll. No, 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 no. no, 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 no they're, they're not that far yeah, apart. Yeah. No, a Chico roll. Can we, okay, can we just... Uh, room. All right. Room. Harry. Amy's Harry. Me. Harry. Chico roll. A Chico roll. I can't even remember the last time I had one. Exactly. Or if I've ever had one. Well, you have it with sauce. Don't need to sorry. Sauce or not? Sauce, for sure. Sauce. You have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. Abby. Abby's from, not had one. Abby's from Kalgoorlie. I've not had one. Oh but God. you're from Kalgoorlie. We're born with them in yeah, our you've hands. Had chicken sausages. Yeah, what? I know. We've had chicken you've not sausages. Had chicken rolls. I've, uh, I've never had no, a chicken that, that, There's no relationship to chicken with a chicken roll. Chico, <laughs> Sam, sauce. come over. What? Tomato sauce. Sauce. Are you joking? Amy, Amy, Amy? No sauce. Never but sauce. But if I was forced to, yes. sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, do, yeah. The force oh, sauce. Oh, okay. If I was having force yeah. sauce, yes, I would yeah. say. Oh, but I've sweet never, chili, ever, maybe. even yeah. in a million years, contemplated no. putting... Tomato sauce is a staple. That is disgusting. That is not right by you saying no, that. I, I just I, use hey, like, hey, so hey, much salt hey. that you should be sent to hospital. <laughs> so much salt. Even to the point where I pour salt on the plate and then dip it in the so, salt after each so bite. So as much salt as you would normally put pepper on something. <laughs> yes, I like my salt. Fully a salt. Well, Sean, Chico you've confirmed roll. what we, we have long suspected about you. You secret You're all eater. Pure oh, at work. you no, are. No, no, no. You are no, when, I'm, when I'm doing the right thing, I'm. I'm as um, no. pure as the driven snow. What are, you, what are you doing the right thing last year? Offici- uh, last I did week, it. I officially. didn't say that. When? Yeah, when? Did. when? when? Last know, week? No, two didn't. weeks ago, at the end of the two weeks, you said, okay, now I'm starting. Yeah, you did. You did? And because you're trying to And that was another Rondo. week. That was the third week. Liar, secret eater, skinny talker. Skinny talker. Skinny talker. Skinny talker. Skinny talker. Skinny talker. Fat walker. Skinny talker. Fat walker. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.